Hello guys and welcome back to clean Irene's home with me. Whoa, her fridge has some surprises. <laughs> Last week we started cleaning her beautiful messy kitchen and today we will continue with that as well as cleaning her bedroom. Here we have some of the most impressive layers of dust I've ever seen on the shelves. <laughs> Can't wait. But first, let's dive in the secrets of the fridge. Here we go! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen so many different dairy products like butter, milks, yogurt, creamers and cheeses. And look at this! Oh my god, it's so moldy! It's some yogurt. Looks lovely. My favorite one. Oh, I just love it. Okay. Okay, there was a cucumber. It's cute. Cutie pie. <laughs> Actually, the fridge is full of different forms of milk. Plus one cucumber. And what are these? Looked like kiwi, but I don't think so. The hair hairiness was just some mold. Nice. So let's take out the shelves. And did you know that you can wash these shelves in the dishwasher? It's super easy. And you can also use a duster inside your fridge to remove all the crumbs. Try it. I sprayed a little bit of Sinis kitchen cleaner in the fridge and let it sit for 5 minutes so the stains would soften. And now we are going to scrub and then wipe it clean. Ooh, and now it also smells super fresh and good. Or actually it doesn't smell anything but you know what I mean. <laughs> So the dishwasher was in use all the time, 24-7, because there were a lot of dishes. If you watched last week's video, you saw those dishes. There was a lot of them. So that's why I just washed the shelves by hand. First, I just sprayed some Sinis kitchen cleaner and dish soap, then spread it around evenly. And after that, I scraped off everything sticky or hard, like dried food. Then it's time to rinse. Oh, love it. And wipe it clean with a dry cloth. So in my last week's video, I started cleaning this lovely messy kitchen. Watch that video if you want to see the starting point of everything. And no worries if you haven't seen it. I'm going to recap the story of this milk lady, Irene, and then continue from there. Hey, I think the fridge is done and it's looking so good. Ah, the glass is so bright. So let's put back everything that could be saved, like a couple of butter packages, <laughs> ketchup choice and mustard. But hey, check this out what I found. Whoa! These milk cartoons are full. There's different kind of milks like skim milk, whole milk, half whole milk, I don't know. <laughs> and coffee and trashes. And there was also cream. Interesting. Guys, I love that brown stuff and egg shelves on top of it. I think we have to scrub it. Yes, here I'm using Sinis window squeegee, it's the best. Then I'm spraying Sinis kitchen cleaner and I'm letting it sit there for a while. You probably won't see it, but it's there like for five minutes and then I'm scrubbing it. Okay, it hasn't softened it enough, so let's use heavy duty tools. And goodbye brown stuff. See you again sometime. One of my favorite things is to do different kind of patterns. And then my brother Sandari was filming me a TikTok, but I love to play around with brown foam. It's one of my favorite things ever. <laughs> and look, the counter is all white again. Not yet, of course, there's still something left. But like, I mean, 
It's perfect. Let's put this microwave back and I think we have to clean it too. <laughs> Even though it's not that bad though. But now a quick recap of Irene's life and how her home ended up like this. Looking like this messy, dirty place. What was the sweetest moment ever was when I arrived here and she told me her biggest wish for this cleaning is that she could bake again, once again in her kitchen, which she loves. I immediately thought we should get this kitchen in shape so Irene can bake for her friends and invite them over. I would love that. That made me that made me so happy and sad at the same time. I don't know. But yeah, Irene is a lovely 77-year-old grandma who lives here alone. She's quite small and speaks very fast. She was terribly embarrassed, but still managed to share her story. Once again, I'm loading the dishwasher. Like I said, there was a lot of dishes. And guess what? I couldn't even wash them all. Even though I was washing every second of this cleaning. Like, the dishwasher was on all the time. It was crazy. But she had so many cups and plates and everything. Like, <laughs> I know I shouldn't wash these pans and pots and or maybe those pots but not pans but i'm gonna do it because i'm in a hurry and we need them to be cleaned and i'm washing the dishes with quickest cycle so it won't do a lot of harm to these things but yeah our story begins when irene was retired after retirement something happened she became depressed. Although she mentioned me that she didn't really believe in mental illnesses or laziness, but this had told her something because she felt like depressed. Or at first, of course, she didn't know what was wrong. She just found herself living in a such a place. She couldn't quite believe she had created this mess and was living in it. It was, she was just shaking her head like, this can't be true. I don't know how this happened. I didn't feel myself. I wasn't myself. So yeah, when you are depressed, you are not yourself. Because I've been depressed too. And I wasn't the person I truly am. Depression was like a curtain, like a heavy curtain in front of me. It changed me, gave me different thoughts, made me behave worse. I wasn't a good person, if I can say that, especially to myself. I believe depression is some kind of protection when you face a lot of stressful factors from the outside. Something inside you freezes. You are paralyzed because you can't bear the stress and pressure. But it also shapes you. You are thinking and acting differently than you would normally do. You were healthy. But the good thing is that you can get out of it. I got out so anyone else can too. I'm no more special than anyone else. I just made changes in my life, small changes that led to bigger ones, and I got out of depression. For example, talking has been a really big key for me, because it helped me realize things when I had to say them aloud to someone else, and then they could help me. But anyways, here we are and Irene is telling me her life on the couch, realizing things at the same time. Because when I look at the mess in her home, she realizes it is really true. Hey guys, look! Think about it, you can see the floor now compared to what we first came here. You couldn't even walk on this floor before. Pretty incredible, right? <laughs>
I noticed that there were a few stains on the floor. So if your kitchen floor has a few stains too, try to pre-treat them. Spray some kitchen cleaner. I'm using Cine's kitchen cleaner on them. Let it sit for a few minutes and then wipe or mop it. It's much easier than if you to start mopping the floor from scratch and have to scrub each stain for a long time and the rest of them are just waiting there dry. Mm. Waste of time. Let the cleaner work for you. More dishes. Hey, there's a thing what you use when you are baking a cake. So maybe Irene is going to use it. Okay, let's scrub this table. By the way, Irene said that she's going to buy no furniture because these, uh, this table and these chairs are like not rotten, I would say, but they are stained. Look at those chairs. They've been laying around in midst of trash, so it's them time to go. But still, I'm gonna clean them because I think Irene is getting the new furniture earliest in next month. So yeah, and some nice flowers. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, I hope this hallway has some trash treasures. Let's find out. Oh, a lot of empty cardboard boxes with trashes. Interesting. And Irene was so happy that my brother and I came to help her that she decided to tell her own brother about her situation, which is great, super great. He's a bit older too, but he promised... Oh, what are these? Oh, it's a mandarin. Yeah, rotten mandarin. Interesting. Yeah, so the brother promised to help Irene to get a new sofa, bed, dining table and everything, which is nice. And my brother would do the same if I was living here. Hmm. So Irene is really getting a fresh new start. Just think, you can start your life over at 77. It's never ever too late. This hallway took me around maybe an hour or something. Of course, it helps because my brother was taking all the trashes out. So yeah. Okay, are these eggs rotten? Maybe not. Maybe you can use them. What else? Let's see. There, it's Sometimes it's hard because it's mixed of trash, papers, and then like items and food that you can eat. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, meanwhile, I'm in the kitchen or in the hallway. My brother is cleaning Irene's bedroom. Let's see what he finds. And what I found most wonderful is that even though it's been one and a half years since this cleaning is done, Irene still texts me. Oh, it's so sweet. It's like my granny texting me. And I plan to show at the end the lovely messages she has sent me and what her home looks like now. I mean, seriously, they are so cute. And there's also those new furnitures. This bedroom was a bit tricky because there were so many important papers. So somebody had to be really careful with everything. He had to read every paper and put them somewhere. And there was also jewelry and stuff. Like normally you just want to grab everything, but you can't because there is really important things mixed with everything there. So yeah. And it looks quite quick, but this room alone took Sandra like four hours, so it's a long time. Okay, but the bed isn't bad though, right? It looks like clean. So let's just put new bed sheets. I bought these beautiful sheets. You will see them really soon. 
I came here with my cameras because I'm about to wipe the dust. I can't wait. There are amazing dusts. Like, wait for it, guys. Oh. Do you like these bed sheets? What is that animal? A raccoon or... I don't know. I just bought them because I love animals. And they are cute. And they are pink, of course. <laughs> My favorite color. Ah. Sinis Duster is the best. It's made of lamp wool and it collects dust really well. It just don't drop it. Like, if you have a duster made of peacock feather, it just drops the dust. Sometimes it's really handy, but if you want to collect the dust, use a lamp wool duster or a microfiber duster. TD! Oh, there was some gum. <laughs> oh, man, oh man, this is my favorite part. Oh, it's so thick. I love it. Love it. L O V U. Maybe I spelled it right. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh. I can't really spell. I can't even spell my name. I'm so sorry. It's it's so hard for me. I U R R. Is it R? R I. I don't know. <laughs> Call me stupid if you want. <laughs> but now let me read you some text that Irene sent to me after the cleaning. So, next week after cleaning, Irene wrote to me, Today I'm starting on washing windows. I replied, wonderful, you have clear windows in addition to a clean home. And the next week, she wrote me, My younger brother is coming to help me with the sofa and bed. I'm getting a new furniture. A month later, Irene wrote, We've continued cleaning with my brother, emptied all the boxes, and life seems to be winning again. Oh. <laughs> I asked if she had invited friends over, and she said, I plan to bake an apple pie for friends on Wednesday and have them over. Guess if I'm feeling good? Question marks. <laughs> I replied, definitely, you must be. Another month passed. Good evening. Here we are trying to welcome summer, wishing for more warmth. We are renovating the home and tomorrow we'll look for new furniture for the kitchen and a sofa for this living room. My godson will take the old furniture away. In other words, I've woken up to life again. And you deserve my biggest thanks. Looking forward to summer, all the best in your life. Oh, then she sent pictures of the furniture. So cute. <laughs> Then she wrote me again. My brother Paul said all the energy started with Auris' visit. I agree. And heart emoji. <laughs> there are dishes in the kitchen, so I didn't take pictures there. Everything has stayed in order. I vacuum every week and wipe the floors immediately if they got dirty. She also wished me a merry, merry Christmas during the holiday season. I'm not understating it when I say that this cleaning changed Irene's life forever. Now she has lived in a clean home for over one and a half years and it still continues. You can always make mistakes, but what's more important is how you act after those mistakes. Everything can really be fixed. If you notice your mistakes and want to change them, then anything is possible. I mean, look at this, guys. Look at it. This isn't home. This isn't Irene's home, but this is. This is a warm, <laughs> nice looking home. Hmm. And yes, Irene is living here and she's baking there once again. This was one of my favorite cleanings ever. 
I don't... I think because, because of Irene, because she was such a lovely person. But hey, more Dirty Home is coming, so we will see you next week. I love you all. You are the best cleaning buddies I've had. See you. Bye-bye. <laughs>